the Cree are one of the largest groups of First Nations Native Americans in North America, with over 200,000 members living in Canada. The major proportion of Cree in Canada live north and west of Lake Superior, in Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta and the Northwest Territories. About 38,000 live in Quebec. In the United States, this Algonquian-speaking people historically lived from Lake Superior westward. Today, they live mostly in Montana, where they share a reservation with the Ojibwe. The documented westward migration over time has been strongly associated with their roles as traders and hunters in the North American fur trade. Subgroups The Cree are generally divided into eight groups based on dialect and region. These divisions do not necessarily represent ethnic subdivisions within the larger ethnic group. Nascarpi and Montafnes are inhabitants of an area they refer to as Nitarsinan. Their territories comprise most of the present day political jurisdictions of eastern Quebec and Labrador. Their cultures are differentiated, as the Nascarpi are still caribou hunters and more nomadic than the Montafnes, but the Montafnes have more settlements. The total population of the two groups in 2003 was about 18,000 people, of which 15,000 lived in Quebec. Their dialects and languages are the most distinct from the Cree spoken by the groups west of Lake Superior. The Tikamak are inhabitants of the area they refer to as Nitaskinan, in the upper St. Maurice River Valley of Quebec. Their population is around 4,500. James Bay Cree, Grand Council of the Crees. Approximately 18,000 Cree of Iwaische and Nunavik regions of northern Quebec. Moose Cree, Moose Factory in the Cochrane District, Ontario. This group lives on Moose Factory Island, near the mouth of the Moose River, at the southern end of James Bay. Swampy Cree, this group lives in northern Manitoba along the Hudson Bay coast and adjacent inland areas to the south and west, and in Ontario along the coast of Hudson Bay and James Bay. Some also in eastern Saskatchewan around Cumberland House. It has 4,500 speakers. Woods Cree Group in northern Alberta and Saskatchewan. Plains Cree 34,000 people in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Montana. Collectively the Cree used the autonym Nahilawa. They used Cree to refer to their people only when speaking the languages of the European colonists, French or English. The Cree of the James Bay region of Quebec refer to themselves as Ayu, or the people. Political organization. Equals historical equals, as hunter-gatherers, the basic unit of organization for Cree peoples were the lodge, a group of perhaps eight or a dozen people, usually the families of two separate but related married couples, who lived together in the same wigwam or teepee, and the band, a group of lodges who moved and hunted together. In the case of disagreement lodges could leave bands, and bands could be formed and dissolved with relative ease, but as there is safety in numbers, all families would want to be part of some band, and banishment was considered a very serious punishment. Bands would usually have strong ties to their neighbors through intermarriage and would assemble together at different parts of the year to hunt and socialize together. Besides these regional gatherings, there was no higher level formal structure, and decisions of war and peace were made by consensus with allied bands meeting together in council. People could be identified by their clan, which is a group of people claiming descent from the same common ancestor. Each clan would have a representative and a vote in all important councils held by the band. Each band remained independent of each other. However, Cree-speaking bands tended to work together and with their neighbors against outside enemies. Those Cree who moved on to the Great Plains and adopted bison hunting, called the Plains Cree, were allied with the Assiniboine and the Sorto in what was known as the Iron Confederacy which was a major force in the North American fur trade from the 1730s to the 1870s. When a band went to war, they would nominate a temporary military commander, called a Lokimachkan, loosely translated as war chief. This office was different from that of the peace chief, a leader who had a role more like that of diplomat. In the run-up to the 1885 Northwest Rebellion, Big Bear was the leader of his band, but once the fighting started Wandering Spirit became war leader equals contemporary equals, there have been several attempts to create a national political organization that would represent all Cree peoples, 
at least as far back as a 1994 gathering at the Opusquiac Cree First Nation Reserve. Name The name Cree is derived from the Algonquian language Exonim Kiriatino unregistered trademark, which the Ojibwe used for tribes around Hudson Bay. The French colonists and explorers, who spelled the term Kyllistinan, Kiristinan, Nistni, Kristinor, and Kristinor, used the term for numerous tribes which they encountered north of Lake Superior, in Manitoba, and west of there. The French used these terms to refer to various groups of peoples in Canada, some of which are now better distinguished as Seven Anishin or Arab, who speak languages different from the Algonquin. Depending on the community, the Cree may call themselves by the following names, the Nahiwak, Nahitor, Nahilor, and Nahini, or Inini, Elili, Iainu, or Iayu. These names are derived from the historical autonym Nahiro or from the historical autonym Irini. Cree using the latter autonym tend to be those living in the territories of Quebec and Labrador. Language the Cree language is the name for a group of closely related Algonquian languages spoken by approximately 117,000 people across Canada, from the Northwest Territories to Labrador. It is the most widely spoken Aboriginal language in Canada. The only region where Cree has official status is in the Northwest Territories, together with eight other Aboriginal languages. The two major groups, Nhi and Innu, speak a mutually intelligible Cree dialect continuum which can be divided by many criteria. In a dialect continuum, it is not so much a language, as a chain of dialects, where speakers from one community can very easily understand their neighbors, but a Plains Cree speaker from Alberta would find a Quebec Cree speaker difficult to speak to without practice. One major division between the groups is that the eastern group palatalizes the sound to either or to when it precedes front vowels. There is also a major difference in grammatical vocabulary between the groups. Within both groups, another set of variations has arisen around the pronunciation of the Proto-Algonquian phoneme L, which can be realized as, or by different groups. Yet in other dialects, the distinction between and has been lost, merging to the latter. In more Western dialects, the distinction between and has been lost, both merging to the former. Victor Gollum lists Cree in the Encyclopedia of the World's Endangered Languages as one of 55 languages that have more than 1,000 speakers which are being actively acquired by children. Identity and ethnicity. Equals in Canada equals. The Cree are the largest group of First Nations in Canada, with 220,000 members and 135 registered bands. This large population may be a result of the Cree's traditional openness to intertribal marriage. Together, their reserve lands are the largest of any First Nations group in the country. The largest Cree band and the second largest First Nations band in Canada after the Six Nations Iroquois is the Lac La Runge band in northern Saskatchewan. Given the traditional Cree opening to mixed marriages, it is acknowledged by academics that all bands are ultimately of mixed heritage and multilingualism and multiculturalism was the norm. In the West mixed bands of Cree, Sorto and Assiniboine, all partners in the Iron Confederacy, are the norm. However, in recent years, as indigenous languages have declined across Western Canada where there were once three languages spoken on a given reserve, there may now only be one. This has led to a simplification of identity, and it has become fashionable for bands in many parts of Saskatchewan to identify as Plains Cree at the expense of a mixed Cree Salto history. There is also a tendency for bands to recategorize themselves as Plains Cree instead of Woods Cree or Swampy Cree. Neil McLeod argues this is partly due to the dominant culture's fascination with Plains Indian culture as well as the greater degree of written standardization and prestige Plains Cree enjoys over other Cree dialects. The Ma copywriters are people of mixed ancestry, such as Nhi and French, English, or Scottish heritage. According to Aboriginal Affairs and Northern Development Canada, the Ma copyrights were historically the children of French fur traders and Nhia women or, from unions of English or Scottish traders and Northern Dean women. Generally in academic circles, the term Ma copyrights can be used to refer to any combination of persons of mixed Native American and European heritage, although historical definitions for Ma copyrights remain. 
Canada's Indian and Northern Affairs broadly define Ma copyright tis as those persons of mixed First Nation and European ancestry, while the Ma copyright tis National Council defines a Ma copyright tis as a person who self-identifies as Ma copyright tis, is distinct from other Aboriginal peoples, is of historic Ma copyright tis nation ancestry and who is accepted by the Ma copyright tis nation. Equals in the United States equals, at one time the Cree were located in northern Minnesota, North Dakota and Montana. Today majority live as part of the federally recognized Chippewa Cree tribe, located on the Rocky Boy Indian Reservation, and in minority as landless Cree on the Fort Peck Indian Reservation and as landless Cree, and Rocky Boy Cree on the Fort Belknap Indian Reservation, all in Montana. The Chippewa Cree share the reservation with a Pembina band of Chippewa Indians, who form the Chippewa half of the Chippewa Cree tribe. On the other reservations, the Cree minority share the reservation with the Assiniboine, Gros Venta and Sioux tribes. Traditionally, the southern limits of the Cree territory in Montana were the Missouri River and the Milk River. First Nation Communities Ethnobotany the Hudson Bay Cree use a decoction of the leaves of Calmia latifolia for diarrhea, but consider the plant to be poisonous. Notable leaders, Mr. Wowsis, chief of the Parklands Willow Cree, born about 1813. He was one of the influential leaders of the House Cree or Waskayak and Iwayinwak, supplied between 1852 a Euro 1854 Fort Carlton with bison meat and pemmican, acquired in his youth by constant military conflicts the respect of Crowfoot. Leader of the Succeeker, the Blackfoot called Mr. Wowsis respectfully the Iron Buffalo of the Plains, Artuch Kakup, chief of the House Cree. He was born about 1815 16, signed together with his cousin, Mr. Wowsis, in 1876 the Treaty 6 at Fort Carlton, where he agreed that his group was settled into a reserve near the present day Prince Albert, died December 4, 1896, at the age of 81 years. Apshutchen or Hato Harpy T or Agkakuza Kuta Kupitz, chief of a band of Calling River Cree, born about 1845 in the Lower Kwe Euro unregistered trademark Apple Valley, son of Wapai Imastasis, his tribal group was closely associated with the Karkichi Winwak under the leadership of Kakishwe, and a close ally of Pai leader of the Cree Asinaboin or Young Dogs. 1879 After the disappearance of the bison Afshutchen or Hato Harpy T settled on a reserve in the fire hills of the Lower Kwabal Valley, died 1917 in the Star Blanket Reserve, Saskatchewan, Paipwati. Also known as Hole in the Sioux, or Ksukawazan, a Euro Flash in the Sky, a Euro unregistered trademark, chief of the Cree Assiniboine or the young dogs with great influence on neighboring Assiniboine, downstream people. Southern groups of the upstream people in Sorto, born 1816, kidnapped as a child by the Sioux, he was freed about 1830 by Plains Cree, significant shaman, most influential chief of the feared young dogs, convinced the Plains Cree to expand west in the Cypress Hills, the last refugee for bison groups, therefore disputed border area between Sioux, Assiniboine, Saksika Kanai and Cree. Refused to participate in the raid on a Kenai camp near the present Lethbridge, Alberta, then the young dogs and their allies were content with the eastern Cypress Hills to the Milk River, Montana, does not participate at the negotiations on the Treaty 4 of 1874, he and Chiakuk, the most important leaders of the Plains Ojibwa in the Quipal area, signed on September 9, 1875 the treaty only as preliminary contract tried with Maniacosis and Mistohi Masqua to erect a kind of Indian territory for all the Plains Cree, Plains Ojibwa and Assiniboine, as Ottawa. Refused, he asked 1879-80 along with Kiwiza one quarter NC in the Assiniboine for adjacent reserves in the Cypress Hills, Paipwati settled in a reserve about 37 miles northeast of Fort Walsh, Maniacosis and Papals asked successfully for reserves near the Assiniboine or Paipwati. This allowed the Cree and Assiniboine to preserve their autonomy, because they went 1881 in Montana on bison hunting, stole Apsaroki horses and alleged cattle killed, arrested the U.S. Army the Cree Assiniboine group, disarmed and escorted them back to Canada, now unarmed, denied rations until the Cree and Assiniboine gave up their claims to the Cypress Hills and went north, 
In the following years the reserves changed several times and the tribes were trying repeated until to the Northwest Rebellion in 1885 to build an Indian territory, Pailipwati remained under heavy guard, until his death he was a great spiritual leader, therefore Ottawa deposed Pailipwati on April 15, 1902 as chief, died in April 1908 on Piapot Reserve, Saskatchewan, Kiaki Kazaku Way, chief of the Plains Cree, was in the middle of the 19th century the leading chief of the Plains Cree, had also a large following among the Plains Ojibwa around Fort Pitt, his sub-chief was Mukatu, the father of Mastohi Masquad. Mastohi Masquad, chief of the Plains Cree, born about 1825, son of the Ojibwa leader Mukatu, mastered his native language, the Cree language, as well as Ojibwa language led the last resistance to the dispersal of the Cree on many reservations and asked for a big total reserve. A revolt of the young warriors under the leadership of one of his sons in 1885 destroyed these plans, died January 17, 1888 on the Poundmaker Reservation in North Batleford in Saskatchewan. Kapapamahkakwu, Kamki Sayakwo, Pitikwo and Apewilin, a shaman of the Assiniboine and a Franco-Canadian Mar copyrightist woman who was the sister of Mr. Wowsis. Pity Kwan William was chief of a band consisting of Plains River Cree, Woods River Cree, Western Woodland Cree and Nakeda, was adopted in 1873 by the Sikseka chief Crowfoot his son, lived several years by the Blackfeet name Makwa Kokin under the Sikseka, returned to the Cree, became counselor to Fihu Kosit was involved in the negotiations for the Treaty 6 in 1876 and went in 1879 in the Poundmaker Reservation, later he participated in the Siege of Battleford and the Battle of Cup Knife, died July 4, 1886 in Blackfoot Crossing. Alberta, Wach Casco Kaisagian signed the Treaty 6 at Fort Carlton on August 28, 1876 together with the Willow Cree, died January 11, 1877 in a shootout accident on the Plains, Probably at St. Paul de Chris, Alberta, P.H. E., chief of the Asniwachi Niyawak and later the head chief of the Rocky Mountain Cree or Asniwachi Wiyaniwak, born about 1821, introduced under the Asniwachi Wiyaniwak to the Catholic Rite, his three sons, Piaso Chark, Xkewo, Bobtail, and Ermineskin were also significant leaders, Pisu and his elder son. Chark Piaso were killed during a gambling dispute in 1843. Among his sons-in-law were Samson, Chaniki, Bespore, Capote Blanc and Jack Cardinal, Ermineskin, son of Pasu, brother-in-law of Pity Kwa and Apewilin, Xkewo, son of Pasu, brother of Ermineskin, became chief after the death of his older brother, was elected instead of Maskepatoon to the chieftainship of the Rocky Cree and later became head chief of the Western Cree a Europeg Zimatan Wienuaka Euro unregistered trademark and soon after became the head chief of all the groups of the upstream people, Kamdaya Stowasit, among the members of his tribal group were. Many Ma copyrightist descendants of the Hudson's Bay Company employee George Sutherland, Car One Quarter Piauqua One Quarter Sconum and his second wife Pascus, tried to prevent in 1876 negotiations on the Treaty 6 at Fort Carlton along with Kamdaya Stowasit and Sasuapu but finally signed on August 28 the treaty. In August 1884 he attended a meeting with Mish J. Masquan and Papus. His tribal group joined first the Ma copyrightus in 1885, died on April 25, 1886 in the prison, Maneakosis, Papus, born in the late 1830s near Fort Pitt, was in the 1870s a leader of Mish J. Masquan's Plains River Cree, as the bison disappeared signed along with Little Pine on July 2, 1879 for the 470 members of his tribal group and annexed to the Agreement No. 6 at Fort Walsh, in vain he asked for a reserve in the Cypress Hills and the Buffalo Lake, so many members went back to Mish J. Mask or joined Maneakosis, Papers asked 1884 in vain a reserve adjacent to the reserves of Pity Kaur and Apewilin, Maneakosis and Mish J. Mask or, during the Rebellion of 1885. Were the two groups of Papus and Maneakosis scattered and some of their members fled in the U.S., 1886 settled the remaining members of the two groups in the Little Pines Reserve died 1901 Nuff Fort Assiniboine, Montana, Sesuapu and he were brother-in-law, because both were married to daughters of George Sutherland, Maskepatoon, turned later to the Methodist missionaries, 
what him and his followers brought into conflict with the Catholic Free Rocky Cree under the leadership of Pursu, moved to the reserve and was soon known as the Peacemaker, was killed in 1869 in a Blackfoot camp in Alberta by Big Swan, in an attempt to make peace between the two peoples unarmed. Bihu Kamayak Cossett, signed on August 23, 1876 on behalf of his brother Watuni the Treaty 6, he was then regarded as a treaty chief by the Canadian government, moved with his tribal group 1878 onto the present Red Pheasant Reserve, about 33 kilometres south of North Battleford, Saskatchewan, Paisis, born 1824 at the Beaver River, son of Leduc Herdit as Jalay and Jost Suzette Cardinal, signed on August 8, 1876 the Treaty 6, participated in Battle of Battle River, Cabhkwistmoor, chief of the Rabbit Skin Cree in Sorto, signed in. September 15, 1874 the Treaty 4, his tribal group was hunting in the area around Wood Mountain and the Cypress Hills and went back to the Quabble Valley once a year to get their payments and gifts until a reserve was established in 1881. Pasquan one quarter W, chief of the Plains Cree, born 1828, son of Mahkasis, 1874 his tribal group were making their living with bison hunting in the vicinity of today's Leech Lake, Saskatchewan, they had also created gardens and raised a small herd of cattle, in September 1874 Pasqua took part in the negotiations on the Treaty 4 in Quabble Valley, he asked the Canadian government for the payment of a £300,000 to the tribes, which the Hudson's Bay Company had received for the sale of Rupert's land to Canada. Despite the refusal of Canada, he finally signed the treaty and moved to a reserve five miles west of Fort Quipple, stayed out with his tribal group from the Northwest Rebellion of 1885. Died in March 1889, he succumbed to the tuberculosis, peach quakey, though he was a Ma copyright as he became chief of the Willow Cree and the Ma copyrightis, who were living with the Cree, brother and counselor to Kituwe Howe, after Kituwe Howe had left the reserve on the Muskega Lake to live around Batak, became Peachquake chief of the remaining Cree and Ma copyrightis living in the reserve. He participated on March 26, 1885 along with the Ma copyrightis leader Gabriel Dumont at the battle at Duck Lake. Thereafter he led his tribal group to St. Laurent to participate in the defense of Batak, one of the largest Ma copyrightist settlements and the seat of the Saskatchewan's provisional government during the rebellion, Kituwe Howe. Though he was of Ma copyrightist descent he became chief of the Willow Cree and the Ma copyrightist, who were living with the Cree, brother of Pete Quakey, lived along Duck Lake, signed 1876 Treaty 6 and settled in a reserve at Muskega Lake. That was later named after his brother Pete Quakey, but left the reserve in 1880 and lived again in the following years close to St. Laurent de Grand in Mission. Played a prominent role during the Northwest Rebellion of 1885 in which he participated in every battle, served also as an emissary of the Mar Copyrightis leader Gabriel Dumont to ask the Assiniboine for support. On May 23, 1885, he also submitted the Declaration of Surrender of Petit Corps and AP William to General Middleton was captured on June 1, 1885. In the subsequent trial of Kitu Wei Howard Regina, Louis Cochin testified that he and the cutters in the camp of Petit Corps and A.P. Wien survived only thanks to the intercession by Ki Wei Tu Hao. And its people, despite the positive testimony, he was on August 14, 1885 sentenced to imprisonment for seven years for his involvement in the Ma Copyrightis Rebellion, died 1886. Other notable people Janice Akus, author, of Sakame and Nanan Korma Rival Ma Copyrightus Ancestry, Nathaniel Arcand, actor, Irene Bedard, actress, Mary Catherine Campbell, former Miss America pageant title holder, Harold Cardinal, writer, political leader, teacher, and lawyer, Lorne Cardinal, actor, Tantu Cardinal, actor, Jonathan Chichu, NHL and KHL hockey player, Connie Fife, poet. Theor and Fleury, retired NHL hockey player, humanitarian, spokesperson, and author, Edward Gamblin, musician, Michael Grayes, actor, Thompson Highway, playwright, librettist of the first Cree language opera, Tyson Houseman, actor, Cody Lightning, actor, Wilton Littlechild, lawyer, former member of parliament, Delia Opigoku, lawyer and activist, Bronson Pelletier, actor, Romeo Sajanash, member.
of Parliament for a bit of a Euro Barry James a Euro Nunavik a Euro IU, Quebec, Buffy St. Marie, singer, Cree Summer, singer actress, Roseanne Supernault, actress, Richard Throssell, photographer, Michelle Thrush, actor, Gordon Tootlosses, actor, Shania Twain, singer, Alfred Young Man, educator, writer, curator, artist, Shane Yellowbird, country singer, Ashley Calling Bill Burnham, 2015 Mrs. Universe winner, actress and First Nations activist. See also, Cree language, Cree syllabics, I I knew, James Bay Cree hydroelectric conflict, Ma copyrightis, Mick Hiff, a G Cree, Okishitor. Notes. References. Grant, Bruce. The Concise Encyclopedia of the American Indian. New York, Wings Books. ISBN 0-517-69310-0. Stevens, James A Sacred Legends of the Sandy Lake Cree. McClellan and Stewart Limited. External links, Cree Cultural Site, the East Cree Language Web, the Cree Linguistic Atlas, Grand Council of the Cree's website, the Plains Cree, Ethnographic, Historical and Comparative Study by David Mandelbaum, Lac La Ronge Band website, Little Red River Cree Nation website, Brief History of Cree from Canadian Geographic, CBC Digital Archives, James Bay Project and the Cree, Pimateoin, a first Cree language opera, Fisher River Cree Nation official website, The Gift of Language and Culture website, CBC Digital Archives A Euro Iwice J, Land of the Cree, On the Path of the Elders.